Zelda Tears of the Kingdom ending music is insane. In this video, we're gonna break it down. Hey, listen! Obviously there are spoilers. But it's been like a year and a half, so. So in a moment, we're gonna kind of hear this draconified dragon motif. And we just got a little hint of it on organ. And organ sort of equals Ganon. This sort of equals dragon. Beautiful what they did there with the music. Some fast chromatic moving lines. Cliffhanger. The timpani. We get a lot of that for, for Ganon. So we get the official. Beautiful. And I love the instrumentation choice of Erku here because that also represents dragons. So they're really starting to show what they use musically to represent this whole scene. Mixing in the original dragon theme from Breath of the Wild. Perfect fifths. But not just that, but in the low, low bass, we get this. <laughs> the six note descending theme that we get for Gantt. That was pretty well hidden and very fitting. Beautiful mix into the main theme. Gorgeous air hoop. Main theme. Okay, and then the official battle music. This is so good, I don't even want to stop it. So what's beautiful about this is a second ago they played in Brass and Perfect Fits Ganon's theme. And now here it's almost like the response. They play Zelda's lullaby and brass and fifths. So sort of like Ganon can produce a dragon, so can Zelda. Da -da. Almost a little hint at Zelda's lullaby or the dragon theme. Gorgeous main theme on Erhu, very fitting. Wow, that's nice. So they're playing. Gorgeous, just playing around with those three or four chords. Yeah, so B section of Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, wait a second. 
Oh my gosh, how did I not ever notice that before? Are you kidding me? The B section of Tears of the Kingdom is the same line as the main theme of Breath of the Wild. So they play in the air who... Which is Breath of the Wild main theme. And then the tenor sax plays... Wow, I wonder if that, I, I bet it's intentional. It's just a little bit of overlapping and connecting the two. That is so cool. The ding. Getting the main theme to the kingdom. I'm just taking from the bottom of A little into the da 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 fourth pentatonic line that has to do with flying as well as skydiving. Oh. oh my gosh. If the regular chord was B, then we get a major 7, a 9, and a sharp 11, uh, just in the melody notes. So it's really like the strings are playing the most emotional notes that are adding the most color. It's very high. Um, strings tend to be emotional anyway, so it's kind of like they are really laying it on thick here. Still Dorian mode. same key as I was mentioning before. Beautiful. B seconds as well by again. Here it is. Main theme to the kingdom. Classic. Good way to close it out. Snare drum often is like the final war fight sort of thing. Lots of cymbal crashes, trumpets and strings. change, Zell's lullaby, clapping, echoing. Da, 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 da. That was a nice counter melody. Nice! So we move from main theme Zell's lullaby to original overworld theme, which is like Link saving the day, right? Oof. The clapping is fascinating because there's a theme of hands throughout the game. So there's Link's uh, hand, Raru's hand. There's the hand symbol on all of the shrines. There's the almost catch and fall in the beginning of the game and then ending with the actual catch. And then the echo for me is kind of like the depths, the caverns, like when you go in and you clap inside of a big area, it goes tsh, tsh, tsh. And we get that in a lot of themes throughout the game. A lot of nines, a 13 in there. 
So I say 13 because it's 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. Guitar is the main way that I learned chords. Um, my other instrument is the way I learned scales, saxophone. Highly recommend guitar for chords. Highly recommend piano for pretty much everything else, including chords. Let's keep going. Okay. Da, da, da. Same chord progression as the original, gorgeous. Is this the only place where they include the full version of Zell's Lullaby? Tears of the Kingdom? I wonder. I love that chord change. Wow. Key changes. B section, Tears of the Kingdom, and Zelda's Lullaby on top of each other, which are the same notes, by the way. This is one of the reasons I believe it was intentional. Nice. Wow. Subverting our expectations. They build it. They use the hero's overworld theme. Then they pause. Then they let it down a little bit. Right? Controlling our energy and mood. That is such a beautiful ending. That's so gorgeous. Oh, with... There's so much I could say on that. I. One of the most beautiful musical moments in the entire game. Main theme in the original key. Oh. Which is very nice because that ends up being... chords. Beautiful. Who would have known that we were listening to the staff credits when we got the trailer that showed Link skydiving downwards. Beautiful. So this music plays a lot when, when you see Link running and jumping off and skydiving. Okay, not the exact same notes, but the same motif. Actually, same motif as the beginning of uh, Breath of the Wild main theme. Wow. It's this paraglider. You guys remember that scene? Wow. Right? Beautiful. How cool. It's kind of like the sentimental Breath of the Wild closure sort of theme. Oh, that's a beautiful chord. Sus chord, that one's complicated. <laughs> course the classic Zelda theme they don't they don't use it a whole lot in the soundtrack so it's nice when they use it towards the ending nice continued into the reharmonize that a little bit into a 251 same thing they do in Casa's theme by the way secondary dominant 
That's how I learned what a secondary nominate is, by the way. Da, 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 da. Is that a five theme quote? That note doesn't actually belong in uh, that chord, which is where that tension comes in. Listen again. French horn playing this, high strings playing this. Beautiful. Nice little resolution of Tears of Kingdom main theme motif. Those are the three notes we got when Breath of the Wild first opened. So we finished the trailer and it was kind of like, or the main theme, and it was like, -da -da. like they built up and then it was just a, here you go, open world, good luck. And that's a Breath of the Wild opened. And now this is how the sequel to Breath of the Wild closes. Main theme opens up the entire world of Breath of the Wild and they basically are telling us, we just closed the world of Breath of the Wild. Like we're moving on now. Wow. Well, that was amazing. <laughs> Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you to my patrons. And as always, Zelda Music Theory, out.